Welcome to story time with the Super Haas. And we are the Super Ha family. I'm Nina. I'm a writer with Bakersfield Life magazine. And the other, I guess, one fourth of the Super Haas is working right now with Kaiser Permanente. Oh, yes. I'm Ashley. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Doggy kisses. Hammy. This is Hammy. I'm Ben Jr. or Ben. Or Ben Janiman. Ben Janiman. Yes. Yeah. So today we're going to read Shel Silverstein's Where the Sidewalk Ends. We're doing something a little different today. We're going to read the poems of Shel Silverstein, which I loved growing up. So hope you enjoy them. Let me stop. <laughs> Invitation. If you are a dreamer, come in. If you are a dreamer, a wisher, a liar, a hoper, a prayer, a magic bean buyer. If you're a pretender, come sit by my fire, for we have some flax golden tails to spin. Come in, come in. The Acrobats. I'll swing by my ankles, she'll cling to your knees, as you hang by your nose from a high up trapeze. But just one thing please as we float through the breeze, don't sneeze. Magic. Sandra seen a leprechaun, Eddie touched a troll, Lori danced with witches once, Charlie found some goblins gold, Donald heard a mermaid sing, Susie spied an elf, but all the magic I have known, I've had to make myself. Homemade boat. This boat that we built is just fine, and don't try to tell us it's not. The sides in the back are divine. It's the bottom, I guess, we forgot. Ickle me, pickle me, tickle me too. Ickle me, pickle me, tickle me too. Went for a ride in a flying shoe. Hooray, what fun! It's time we flew, said Ickle me, pickle me, tickle me too. Ickle was captain and pickle was crew, and tickle served coffee with mulligan stew. As higher and higher and higher they flew, Ickle me, pickle me, tickle me too. Ickle me, pickle me, tickle me too. Over the sun and beyond the blue. Hold on, stay in, I hope we do, cried Ickle me, pickle me, tickle me too. Ickle me, pickle me, tickle me too. Never return to the world they knew, and nobody knows what's happened to dear Ickle me, pickle me, tickle me too. Captain Hook. Captain Hook must remember not to scratch his toes. Captain Hook must watch out and never pick his nose. Captain Hook must be gentle when he shakes your hand. Captain Hook must be careful opening sardine cans and playing tag and pouring tea and turning pages of his book. Lots of folks I'm glad I ain't, but mostly Captain Hook. Hug-a-war. I will not play at tug-a-war I'd rather play at hug a war, where everybody hugs instead of tugs, where everybody giggles and rolls on the rugs, where everyone kisses and everyone grins and everyone cuddles and everyone wins. But after this whole stay at home sanction is over, of course. Yeah. Our orchestra. So you haven't gotten a drum, just beat your belly. So I haven't gotten a horn. I'll play my nose, so we haven't any cymbals. We'll just slap our hands together. And though there may be orchestras that sound a little better with their fancy shiny instruments that cost an awful lot, hey, we're playing music twice as good by playing what we've got. Listen to the mustn'ts. Listen to the mustn'ts, child. Listen to the don'ts. Listen to the shouldn'ts, the impossibles, the won'ts. Listen to the never haves, then listen close to me. Anything can happen, child. Anything can be. Boa constrictor. Oh, I'm being eaten by a boa constrictor. A boa constrictor? A boa constrictor. I'm being eaten by a boa constrictor, and I don't like it one bit. 
Well, what do you know? It's nibbling my toe. Oh, gee, it's up to my knee. Oh, my, it's up to my thigh. Oh, fiddle, it's up to my middle. Oh, heck, it's up to my neck. Oh, dread it. One sister for sale. One sister for sale. One crying and spying. Young sister for sale. I'm really not kidding. Who'll start the bidding? Do I hear a dollar? A nickel? A penny? Oh, isn't there, isn't there, isn't there any one kid who would want to buy this old sister for sale? Miss crying and spying your sister for sale? Okay, I'll keep her till next Wednesday. Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout would not take the garbage out. She'd scour the pots and scrape the pans, candy the yams and spice the hams, and though her daddy would scream and shout, she simply would not take the garbage out. And so it piled up to the ceilings, coffee grounds, potato peelings, brown bananas, rotten peas, chunks of sour cottage cheese. It filled the can, it covered the floor, it cracked the window and blocked the door with bacon rinds and chicken bones, drippy ends of ice cream cones, prune pits, peach pits, orange peel, Gloppy glumps of cold oatmeal, pizza crusts and withered greens, soggy beans and tangerines, crusts of blackburn buttered toast, grisly bits of beefy roasts. The garbage rolled on down the hall. It raised the roof. It broke the wall. Greasy napkins, cookie crumbs, globs of gooey bubble gum, cellophane from green bologna, rubbery blubbery macaroni, peanut butter, caked and dry, curdled milk and crusts of pie, moldy melons, dried up mustard, eggshells mixed with lemon custard, cold french fries and rancid meat, yellow lumps of cream of wheat. At last the garbage reached so high that finally it touched the sky. And all the neighbors moved away and none of her friends would come to play. And finally Sarah Cynthia Stout said, Okay, I'll take the garbage out. But then, of course, it was too late. The garbage reached across the state from New York to the Golden Gate. And there in the garbage, she did hate. Poor Sarah met an awful fate that I cannot right now relate because the hour is much too late. But children, remember Sarah Stout and always take the garbage out. Treehouse. A treehouse, a free house. A secret you and me house. A high up in the leafy branches, cozy as can be house. It's not going. Oh. It's no, it is. Okay. Tree house. A tree house, a free house. A secret you and me house. A high up in the leafy branches, cozy as can be house. A street house, a neat house. Be sure and wipe your feet house. It's not my kind of house at all. Let's go live in a treehouse. The toucan. Tell me who can catch the toucan. Lou can. Just how few can ride the toucan. Toucan. What kind of goo can stick you to the toucan? Glue can. Who can write some more about the toucan? You can. The planet of Mars. On the planet of Mars, they have clothes just like ours. And they have the same shoes and same laces. And they have the same charms and same graces. And they have the same heads and same faces, but not in the very same places. The Edge of the World Columbus said the world is round? Don't you believe a word of that. For I've been down to the edge of the world sat on the edge where the wild wind whirled, peeked over the ledge where the blue smoke curls, and I can tell you, boys and girls, the world is flat. My beard. My beard grows to my toes. I never wears no clothes. I wraps my hair around my bear, and down the road I goes. Where the sidewalk ends. There's a place where the sidewalk ends and before the street begins. And there the grass grows soft and white, 
and there the sun burns crimson bright, and there the moon bird rests from his flight to cool in the peppermint wind. Let us leave this place where the smoke blows black and the dark street winds and bends. Past the pits where the asphalt flowers grow, we shall walk with a walk that is measured and slow and watch where the chalk white arrows go to the place where the sidewalk ends. Yes, we'll walk with a walk that is measured and slow and we'll go to where the chalk white arrows go for the children they mark and the children they know the place where the sidewalk ends. Thanks again for joining us today for story time with the Super Haas. We hope you have a fantastic day. We'll see you on Monday. God bless. Bye. Bye. I love this book. It's a good book. Yeah. Did you like that? Yeah. Awesome book. Yeah. yeah. Hemi, did you like it? Did you like this book, Hemi? <laughs>